Welcome everyone tonight. Today we'll be going on an adventure through the Sonoran Desert talking about food. Not only is the landscape itself beautiful, but the food has a lot to do with culture and cuisine. The city itself, with its beautiful landscape, talk, tells you a lot about the kind of food we are going to be talking about today. With the city being so big, it's full of culture, full of uh, opportunity to discover new cuisines. The restaurants I am going to be talking about today have five-star reviews from food critics, some being those that you know as key fleet. It offers a wide range of cuisine, cuisines, Italian food, Native American food, and soul food at Minutio. First up, I would like to talk about Pizzeria Bianco. This place was founded in 1988. It has multiple locations around the valley. It's a small, humble pizzeria. They make brick oven pizza, like this one here. They are famous for their mozzarella pizza. That's the one I have up in the other corner. They have different kinds for diff your different tastes. They're, they're locally sourced every ingredient that they have. They cook all of their pizzas in their brick oven pizza shown here. It can get up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Their signature pizza that I already mentioned, it comes with mozzarella, ricotta, ag agrula, and lemon, and it was named the best pizza in America in 2015. Next, we're gonna talk about the Fry Bread House with unique history. This is uh, a Native American business located in North Phoenix. The owners here founded this place in the early 2000s and they wanted to share their authentic Native American food with the city. They keep all of their ingredients locally sourced to stay fresh and to get the authentic taste of Native American food. This place was actually featured on Diners, Gardens, and Dives, if you want to watch that episode. They specialize in authentic meats, so you will find sheep there if you want to try that. They do have more modernized options, like their red chili, which I, which I have heard was really good. They want to keep everything traditional, so some things you might try there will be different and interesting based on the culture. Native American food was a big part of what they specialize in. They want to keep their roots and share it with the city. Lastly, I have ATL Wings. This is a black owned business. It's a small business. They started in Chandler in 2015 and they wanted to expand. So they have three locations in the Valley now. They're, they wanted to bring wings to not be a secondary menu item to being the sole purpose of their restaurant. They, they noticed and they like to point out that at every other restaurant you go to, wings is gonna be a side, it's gonna be an appetizer. For them, it's their main standing point. They have their own secret rubs that they will not share with you, and if you ask for a side of it, they will decline. These, If you've tried these rubs, they have great reviews online. They offer other things, so they have desserts, they have loaded fries, sandwiches, little sliders, But other than that, it's a great local business to support. They want to keep growing. They have three businesses now. They want to hopefully open the fourth one in Scottsdale to bring in the most business. It was recently also featured on um, Keith Lee. You can find them on TikTok and Instagram. And that's what I want to say. Hopefully you get to try these gems in the city and let me know what you guys think.